Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I wanted to talk about aftercare of your kit after you've been for a swim. So I'm obviously having a swim right now and I'm going to talk through what I do to look after my kit and uh, keep it working for as long as it possibly can. I really don't like to keep buying new stuff if I can eke the old stuff out longer. So I'm going to share, share with you my routine and what I do after every swim. So the first thing I do when I'm coming to get out of the water is I will swim in or float in as close as I possibly can because especially with the little swim socks I don't really want to be walking on the floor um, and maybe stepping on anything that could be sharp at all so I try and get in as close as possible this is a pebbly beach and as I said before there's some uh, concrete blocks and things so I just might eek my little toes along here or well, many about knee deep now um, but I just don't want to step on anything sharp and damage the soles of my um, of my socks also I'm going to pick up my toe float and carry it like this um, because I don't want to put the pressure of the weight of the things I've got in it um, just on that little hook there and uh, you know it's not built for carrying load like that it's there to tow things so gently eking up the beach like this looking for the softest bit underfoot to look after the condition of them before I even get as far as doing any of the other aftercare. Similarly, when I go to take my gloves off, uh, there's a really simple technique for doing that, um, where you blow into it. I've made a little video about that, which I'll link in the description below. So I take my stuff off and I will put it all right near to my dry bag. Um, that way, hopefully, I don't miss anything. I'm also going to put everything inside that uh, tow float dry bag to take home because uh, it will keep my car drier and uh, I don't need to carry an extra bag to carry my stuff. But before I do that, because it's sandy where I've got changed, I'm going to get the majority of this sand off my boots. So I'm just going to take them down to the sea and just rinse them a little bit um, because I don't really want all that sand in my garden when I get there or rustling around the inside of my tow float. I don't want um, yeah, sand just rustling around in your tow float. It's just abrasive stuff, isn't it? So yeah, clean that off. So that's not bad. Got most of the grains off there and I'm not going to be transporting a whole load back with me. It's a good idea to put your stuff in individually so that you can count your booties, your, your um, gloves and your swimmers all in and hats and any other things, goggles, whatever else you're going to put in there. Just so you don't leave anything. You always do a sweep around but if you're swimming with other people it, it can be quite easy to miss the odd uh, swim sock or booty that's left and it isn't half annoying when you get home and you realise you've missed one. So number one in looking after your kit and making it last is uh, making sure you take it with you. One thing I do to make carrying a tow float easier is I will use the waistband as a shoulder strap, a bit like this. So with it done up, I'm going to put the waistband through here making a little strap which you can put over your shoulder or I quite often put mine right over my head and it makes it really easy to carry and leaves me hands free to have a drink or uh, gesticulate while I'm talking to someone. Once I get home I bring all the kit out into the back garden and I wash it off. I'd prefer that the water, the salty water went on the plants in the garden rather than grains of sand getting into the uh, shower tray and all the rest of it in the house so uh, then I'll just hang it up 
Now I know that it looks like it's probably going to rain, which it might well do. But what I'm interested in, first of all, is trying to just drip dry these so that I don't end up with loads of damp in the house. So I hang all these uh, different bits and bobs, the um, gloves and the booties on garden canes and just let them drip dry for a while. And then the same here with my tow float. As you can see, using the attachment, I've just clipped it straight into line, which is easy. And then I've also clipped the two ends together to help it to drain out. On a warm day, that would uh, that would obviously happen a lot quicker. Um, the best I can hope for today is that some will drip out of it. And the same with the swimmers, just hang them up. I'll probably give them a bit of a squeeze out to start them on their way. Um, once that's, once they've drip dried a fair amount, um, I'll bring them in rather than leaving them in overnight and probably hang them up on the shower rail in the um, in the bathroom just to benefit from a bit of central heating and uh, and hopefully dry them off. Uh, at least the swimming costume and the toe float will be dry by the next day. What I do with the booties is I put some uh, silica beads in socks inside the boots and socks or a toilet roll um, and then I just leave them to air dry and that should help them to dry with the beads it's overnight, with the toilet roll it's maybe a couple of days. Well, I'm back down at the river again, um, my kit's all dry and I'm ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful and it's given you a couple of ideas about how to either speed up the process or how to maybe prolong things. One extra little tip would be the dreaded Crocs. So I use Crocs if I'm wearing my um, swim socks, the little thin ones, just to protect the soles of them from when I get from the car to the beach. I don't like to take extra shoes and have to stash them somewhere so um, these, you can see a bit of creosote on them, all sorts. Uh, I use them in the garden, I use them for all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm not really that worried if they end up getting nicked. I'd be a bit more worried if I got uh, a pair of boots or shoes nicked. So. When you're thinking about your kit, do consider what will make it last longer and how to treat it nicely. Think about how you're taking the items off and how you're putting them on. Just be gentle with them. The, the edges can be um, a little bit fragile, so around the cuffs of either your ankles or your wrist. And also the inside of your toe float, if it's a double layered one, I inadvertently damaged one of mine by um, trying to speed up the drying process using a towel. I just put the towel and whooshed it around and pulled it apart. I mean, it was three years old, but I was a bit disappointed that I managed to do that. So look after your kit, make it last as long as you can and enjoy your swimming. I'm going to head on in now. The other thing is, woohoo, I got a haircut. So I'm feeling pretty chuffed. I hope you're safe and well, and I'll see you next week. Bye.